or you're never, I'm sorry, I know you're gonna ask a question, or people get pissed off. We see this guy all the time, we wanna see GSP, or this guy, or that guy, you know, so you never know. But we try to accommodate the guys that do want to fight there. Dana, uh, last week a local uh, bike promoter in Victoria put forward an application to have cage fighting, um, or the ban on cage fighting, uh, or the use of the cage, sorry, overturned in Victoria. To put a ban on it? No, no, no. Um, obviously in Victoria at the moment you can't fight inside a cage, only a ring. He's put forward an application to have that overturned so the cage can be used. If that is successful, um, is that something that you guys would jump on? Because I mean, obviously there's a big market in Victoria to put on a big fight. Um, sure, and, and uh, with Marshall. Yeah, I'm sure Marshall would know more about that. And it, 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 yeah, the information I have is that there's been no application filed there. The procedure to be challenged is no official application, but we are definitely supportive of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Dana. So here, um, I don't want to dwell on the controversy. There's only one question on it. Uh, how did you How did you react when you found out what had gone down with the with the mistake? I said you got to be fucking shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> that is my exact quote. <laughs> okay. Um, just a, a question for both Ian and Dimitri. Uh, what's it feeling like now? Are you guys feeling a bit empty, knowing that you've gone through that war and you're going to be in the same place uh, fighting each other again in a few months? How are you feeling right now to both Ian and Dimitri? Great, Ian. Yeah. How are you feeling at the moment? Are you feeling a bit empty or are you, you know, pumped to fight again? Just what's the feeling? Cool, man. Whatever, I get to fight again. That's cool. I, I'm just excited to be here. You know, this is, this is a dream come true, so I get to fight again and I like him. You know, we have fun beating each other up, so it's, it's going to be a good time. You know, I can do this again, make more money. Cool, I, I'm all in. I can tell you this behind the scenes, we had two completely different reactions to the news. <laughs> and Dimitri, just um, same question. Um, you know, it's it sucks, honestly, just because I wanted things to move forward. You know, I need to have Joseph sit out for who knows how long. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know. I did my job out there and fought, and it's not my job to decide who, you know, what the judges decide, you know. That's why I do an octagon, so it is what it is. And um, just one final question for me, just to Joey. Um, if you could talk a little bit about your win tonight and after seeing the other two fight, is there anyone specifically you would like to uh, to get through now that they've got to fight again? Is there anyone specifically out of these two you'd rather fight? Uh, no, not really. I mean, like I said earlier, I just want to fight whoever wins because that means you know they're they're the deserving uh, contender to fight for the for the belt. So you know whoever wins, I'm excited to see the fight again. I'm a huge fan of both their styles. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to fight the winner and prove who, who is the best. As far as my fight goes, I was excited. I felt great out there in the new weight class. Um, you know, all week went great for me. The cut was actually easier than it was the 35, you know, just because it was, it was so professional and everything. And I, I felt great out there. I, I feel like I always rock people one way or another, or another on the feet at, at 35, but they're just uh, too big and don't quite go down. Um, I think, you know, now that's a sign of things to come, you know, me hitting people and them going down. and. Uh, it finishes in, in this division also. Hey, Jonathan. Um, quick question about the sort of emotional roller coaster straight after. Should be a moment of celebration, but the crowd chanting a few things and um, obviously weren't happy. Do you take that personally, or in that moment, can you separate yourself from the decision like that? Um, <clears throat> but the crowd thinks where they say, you know, it doesn't bother me, you know. Everybody's going to have their thoughts on perceiving, you know. Oh, Johnson lost, or Dean won, or Johnson won that fight, Dean lost. You know, it is what it is. And I, I can't, you know, always get emotionally attached to the crowd because they don't care about me. I mean, I'm sure they do, but they don't know me from a can of paint in the store. So they just want to see me fight and all that. So I, I'll just fine. Cheers. And Dana, um, any update on Noak's knee? No, I, I don't have any updates right now. Does anybody have an update on the knee? No. No, not yet. Elvis has a question. Sure, let Elvis ask a question. Um, one of the biggest fans here, you know that. Um, uh, both the guys are going to get their win bonus because of the mistake? Yes, they are. No. They got the win bonus and they won the fight of the night. So. Oh, great. Take the sting away.
Well, I've known, always known you look after the fighters and it's always good to hear. Thank you, brother. Um, I've thought you put on three great shows so far here and I'm always looking forward to the next. Thank My you. question is, what's the chance of us getting a title fight, not necessarily with an Australian out here? Um, so yeah. yeah, we can do that soon. Soon, uh, you know, ne next time we come back, this is, a, this is a fight night that we did here tonight. No, no, I'm aware, as I said, I think it was a great card, and I thought your, your every match... started off awesome, and then we went this way. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no more questions, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, yes, we will. We, we will be back here with a pay-per-view card, and, um, you know, like I said, this is a huge market for us. It's a very important market to us. I'm sure you're going to see an office popping up here pretty soon, which I'm sure you will be working in now. This is one of our all-time favorites. Um, so, yes. Okay. Don't anybody ask me that question again. <laughs> Fabio, you tweeted uh, after Kyle Mack's fight about how he popped the knee in the first round and continued on. Can you just tell us a little of your thoughts about the guy kicking on for 10 minutes with a busted knee? Yeah, I, I, I was watching the fight and I was like, wow. I mean, this guy lives here. He looks like he, he, he's tired. He looks like he lost steam. And then I found out, you know, he blew his knee out and then fought three tough rounds, you know, with, with, with his knee blown out. He's a tough guy. Much respect to him. <clears throat> You're done with us? One more, right here. All right, what the hell, right? Hi. Hi. Just uh, congratulations, first off, 200th show. Thank uh, you. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. I've been to every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, just wanted to wonder what you thought of uh, Sean Jordan and uh, his first, first fight. Yeah. No? Awesome. Uh, listen, this. The card was amazing, and uh, from top to bottom, uh, you know, uh, we got all this talk about this card being this and that, and these guys came out and killed it tonight, just like they always do. I, I always tell, you know, the way that this that this company and this show and this business works is, is I'm the bells and whistles guys. I go, I go out and do all the, 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 we do the production and everything else, but the partnership between us and the fighters. These guys always go in and they always deliver, and, and that's why this sport has gotten as big as it has. That's why you know fans love to come to the live event, fans love to watch it on television because these are the most incredible athletes in the world. And uh, you know, as we continue to grow, and, and it's good to see these guys finally getting the respect that they deserve. So, thank you guys very much. We appreciate your support. Have a great day. <laughs>